Lots of fans are expected to be in Greenville this weekend for the NCAA Baseball Regional, and they're all excited about it, as you can imagine, but it takes a lot of work to get everything ready. Now to your signs, Gabby Sartori takes a look at all the work that goes into getting this day ready. It's one of the most electric spots to watch a game in college baseball. One fan and former ECU baseball manager says the jungle has never lost its charm. Uh, it's definitely evolved, uh, for sure. Um, it used to be just some folks would pull up in the back of a, their pickup trucks and pull up pretty much right to the fence. Um, and um, it's kind of a wild, wild west out there for a little bit. It was fun, though. It, it creates an environment here that's different than anywhere else in the country. ECU Athletics say only 100 tickets for the jungle seating will be allowed for the regional. But fans say they're just excited to catch the action. They've been pretty electric. The walk off against UNC is pretty, it's probably the best memory I've had. Um, it feels pretty special to me. Oh, like you said, we didn't have one last year, so I'm, I'm ready for the region to be back here. But nothing can be pulled off without the maintenance crews who make it all possible. During the season, it's only life safety, but during, the, during this, you got electric, life safety, and HVAC. <laughs> to make the press box as comfortable as possible. You know, obviously, you got a lot of people up there, and a lot of the referees up there, coaches, whatever, and if they're not comfortable, then nobody's going to be comfortable. So. All this work to make sure fans come back to support the team they've always known. Uh, the culture's just been the same. I mean, uh, Cliff has brought it right back. Uh, the work ethic, the blue-collar mentality that this team has always had. It's an underdog. It's, it's great that we're kind of an underdog at our home stadium. Uh, that fits this team to a mold in the culture of ECU baseball. And with the sold out stadium, fans will need another spot to catch all of the action. Local bars and restaurants are hoping to benefit from this. Tiebreakers is getting ready for an influx of fans. We're going to be rolling this weekend. I mean, they sold out already, like you just said. And I mean, I, I'm hoping tomorrow is a good crowd, but being that Friday, 1 o'clock, um, we'll see how the turnout is for the game. But I mean, definitely after that game, and then people in here to watch that Wake Forest game is going to be, be a whole lot more than what we usually get on a Friday. Tiebreaker says the better ECU does, the better business is there. They say they are fully staffed and ready for any crowds they might see this weekend.